Do you forget words when speaking English? Then watch this video. You like traveling? Yeah. How was your trip to Paris? It was nice. Um, it was good. Um, I forgot this word. I traveled. Um, no, past continuous. I was traveling. How long? Two um, weeks or? Um, I hate to do this, but I gotta run to work right now. Okay, bye. Take care, bye. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Kate, helping you learn English in a fast and easy way. Today I want to focus on how to help you remember words when speaking English. I'll share with you the five steps that helped me to stop forgetting words when speaking English. Now let's jump into the video. Have you ever been in the same situation when you understand everything during the conversation but when it comes to speaking you cannot remember the words or you don't know what to say or you are not sure what grammar tends to use? It might happen to anyone who is trying to speak a foreign language. And this is because speaking is an active skill that requires a mix of elements at the same time – vocabulary, grammar, intonation, and pronunciation. When you are trying to speak and remember all these elements, it takes time and your partner is getting bored because he can't wait for your answer for a long time. Now I'm gonna give you 5 effective steps that will help you to speak English perfectly and remember what to say and how to say it correctly. Step number one – pick out topics for English conversation. Choose things that are frequently used in English conversations, what people are often talking about. For example, work, hobbies, traveling, friendships, sports, or whatever you like. All you need is a pen and a notebook. Write down new words and phrases for each topic. Now you have five topics, so divide your notebook into five parts. So, in the each part you have some related words. Step number two – prepare a script for your conversation. When you write, you have enough time to think about vocabulary and grammar, and it will be helpful for training your memory and memorizing the whole sentences. Let's have a look at the example with traveling. Write down 10 sentences on the topic using different phrases. Ok, I write a sentence. I love traveling with my family. And I don't know what to say anymore. What should I do? We all have a whole bunch of resources on the internet and one of my favorites is MacmillanDictionary.com. You can search for different sentences on this topic and then create your own phrases in advance. Here you can see a lot of examples. I will write three phrases for this topic, but you have to write ten, ok? I love traveling with my family. Where? To different countries. How? By train, by bus or by plane. You can say, I prefer traveling by plane and I always travel economy class. Or maybe, I always travel first class. You can make it a little bit more complex and add some adverbs – extensively, wildly, alone, independently, often, frequently. For instance, I like going on long journeys independently. As you construct the 10 sentences, please don't forget to write everything down. And now you have your notebook with all these phrases. Now you have a little script for the conversation. You've prepared it before the conversation and this helps you feel more confident. So when you're gonna speak with someone about traveling, your brain will immediately remember those phrases. So the next step is to write 10 questions to the person you're going to speak with. It's important because you can use the related words when you ask someone about the topic. Let's say you want to ask a person. Have you ever been abroad? Where are you going for your next vacation? Do you prefer to travel alone or in a group? You can also ask something like, what was your best trip? So now you have 10 sentences and 10 questions. 
Step number four, find five persons on Instagram and follow them. Find five travel bloggers, native speakers of English, who post on Instagram about their vacations, trips, journeys, flights, hotels, and stuff like that. By following them, you can know the latest information on traveling. So every time you go to Instagram, you do not simply scroll down, you read useful posts and expand your vocabulary. And don't forget to write everything down in your notebook. New words, phrases, collocations, everything related to the topic. Step number five, practice speaking. Just imagine that you can't swim and you want to learn how to do it. If you read all the books about how to swim and watch a lot of videos where people are swimming, does it help you to become a good swimmer? Of course not! You can learn only by practicing. The same is true for learning a language. The more you practice, the better you speak the more, the better. Okay, you would probably say, Kate, I have no one to talk to and I cannot find any partner who speaks English in my native country. Don't worry, you don't need anyone to practice. Let me show you. Here is my teddy bear. Hey teddy, do you like traveling? Yeah, but I've never traveled abroad. Oh, that's unfortunate. What country would you like to go? I'd like to go to Italy. Amazing! Do you prefer to stay at the hotel or an apartment? Hotel, I think! You can talk to your pet in English as well. It might feel crazy talking to teddy bears or pets, so you don't have to do it in front of other people. But when you're alone, it's a very good speaking practice, which helps you to improve your English. Now this is a task for you. Try to describe your last trip and tell this to your pet. Practice, be consistent, and don't forget the five steps I've just told you. Let's repeat them once again. Step number one, choose topics for the conversation. Step number two, prepare a script. Step number three, write 10 questions to the person you're going to speak with. Step number four, follow five English speaking persons on Instagram. Step number five, practice speaking, even alone. I hope this lesson was useful. Let me know in the comments what you think, guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye! And I have here tons of scripts for the conversation. And in every notebook I have so many topics, so many phrases. And I learn them by heart.